because Carrie loves fireflies, she has decided to fill the inside of our van up, which is all screened so we don't get bugs in it. She's catching them lightly and then putting them inside the van so we have a magical night of bugs flying into our mouths and planting eggs in our nostrils and ear holes. And all orifices are open at this point. And uh, yeah, she's out of control and I may have her committed. So you're all gonna be called on as character witnesses to have her put in a mental institution. Thank you. a video of you out there with the fireflies and I was telling people I'm having you committed because you put bugs in our van don't say that <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm saying it it's been said it done been said we're in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park today we're making the little half mile hike up to Klingman's Dome Observation Point it's the highest point in the entire park. And, uh, even though we've been through this park a couple of times, we've never been here, so let's go check her out. People looking at us like we're crazy. It's wearing hoodies. Everybody else is here in <laughs> swimsuits. Hey man, the Florida people are freezing. It's cold. <laughs> 64 degrees. Been three months since it got to 64 degrees. <laughs> great friends Cindy and Doug they're up here house sitting in Western North Carolina so we've come to visit them for a couple of days and exploring the area around here it's just a great time Carrie and I spent the last couple days with our great friends Cindy and Doug. They're, they're amazing cruisers. We met them in the Bahamas. Uh, they were kind. They're actually house sitting for some other people and uh, extended those people's courtesy out to us. Been hanging out with them, but gosh, it's been just really, really hot. And so the only answer was to come into Asheville and drink some beer at the Wicked Brewing Company. So here we go.
So if you've been to Asheville, then you already know. You're either going to love it or you're going to kind of hate it. And uh, whether you like it or not, the best way that I can think to describe it is it's like the Portland that's in North Carolina. And the good and the bad that comes with that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are kind of homeless-ish on the streets. Uh, there's a ton of shops. This is a great place if you're gluten-free, lactose-free, all sorts of frees, vegan uh, restaurants and things like that. Little curio shops, sort of a real hippie vibe. Um, but if you're not into that, then this might not be the place for you. Stay a little further west, and uh, that's that's where the Bible starts kicking in. Sort of, Asheville's like where the Bible doesn't fully apply. But we love it. So, oh. All right, Carrie, apparently, directions are to our car to take the freeway on rest, so run really, really fast. All right. Here we go. Hey, hey, you do have to cross here, though. Here we go. Ha, ha. Holy good Jesus. Holy God, freeze. In 600 feet, merge onto I-240 West. I was going to video you kicking that hill's ass. And then that hill kicked your ass. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry, I'll edit this part out. I don't think my bike can make it up here. <laughs> Who told us this is a bike trail? Those are liars. Plus you're doing up and down anyway. So our friend Shell sent us on a bike ride here to this damn place so we could take a damn bike ride. I'll be honest with you, a little damn tired. So this part, you should picture us just riding up like, like the wind, like lightning. Not two old people pushing their bikes <laughs> up this. Just picture it. Just picture it in your head. Me just, ooh, big strides, Lance Armstrong style, but like with less cheating. All right. I won't say how much of the trail we've been pushing these bikes for. Just a very small, but there it is, Carrie. She's riding like the wind. You know, my life before, I just kind of let the mechanics deal with my car, so oil changes, and periodic maintenance, I just take you to the dealership. But when your vehicle is also your home, it's important to spend a little more time, kind of understand it, get under the hood more often, take a peek, check your fluid levels, grease some zergs, and uh, today's a good day here in this beautiful forest in North Carolina to uh, get my headlight going again. So, yay headlights. Yeah, something? this piece right here. Oh, awesome. It's from a 100-year-old corn machine. Yeah, you can see, I mean, yeah. you can see the old pitting. Uh, there, right? And then he, he, he helped come up with how... <laughs>